Hi, I'm Dr. Yen Eng Liang in Toronto area. Today I want to share with you five common reasons why more people are having eye fatigue. So uh, one is that uh, it's actually the biggest problem. A lot of people when they uh, get their glasses done, uh, they don't have the PD measure accurately or have the height measure accurately. So just like making clothes, you have to uh, do the measurements in both meridians, horizontal and vertical. So, uh, for example, if you order your glasses online, then there's no way that you will have the frame in your hands and measure the height from the pupil to the bottom of the frame. So if that's not done correctly, if it's uh, measured to be lower here, if it's made a lot lower or a lot higher than the pupil center, you're going to have eye fatigue. If the PD is higher on one side, like this, which happened to one of my patients, she had it done in Vietnam, and she came back and said it was my problem, but it turned out that it was the lens that's made incorrectly, so of course she's going to have eye fatigue. And then there's other cases where it's off. Uh, the PD is here, or here, or one is here, and one is not on the pupil, so that will cause eye fatigue as well. So reason number two is uh, lenses. So the glasses we make for people who are nearsighted uh, commonly are usually for far. A lot of people use it for driving. And then for up close, we may not need it or we may need a prescription that's lower. So for example, for far away, I have minus five. But for up close, I might actually need a 450 to do my work up close. I don't need a 500 to do my work. So if I continue to use minus 500 to do my near work over 8 hours, um, it's going to give me eye fatigue. So make sure you ask your optometrist um, if you had both done and then uh, it's good to get the anti-fatigue lens for both far and up close correction. And then three. Three is that um, a lot of people forgot to blink when they're working on the computer. So when you're on the computer, blinking will give your eyes um, some break and it will actually produce some tears. The tears will uh, swipe over the area of your uh, cornea and lubricate your eyes. If you forget to blink, if you're playing video games, if you're concentrating to finish a task on the computer, you reduce your blink rate. Average people blink about 18 times a minute. When people are on the computer, sometimes they blink four to eight times a minute. So it's reduced by one third um, or by two-thirds sometimes. So number four is that um, a lot of people have some small eye coordination problems like hidden eye turn uh, or uh, not focusing at the same speed for up close or not zooming in and out uh, in sync with each other. So if we're not using our eyes intensively for up close work, you may not notice it and may not precipitate a problem. But if you're going to be using your work um, for eight hours a day uh, instead of shooting in the wild like in uh, prehistoric times um, where one eye could be different than the other eye and you just need one eye to see better, um, it's quite a different environment that we, we're working with now. So your two eyes working close at the computer a lot with your eye coordination problem could precipitate more symptoms. And then five. Five is that uh, you haven't visited your optometrist for more than one year if you have eye fatigue. So for those people that have eye fatigue, I don't know why they suffer. You can see an optometrist and they can figure out what's the problem. So if you haven't seen an optometrist and you're sitting there just um, suffering from eye fatigue, um, there's not too many tips that I can offer that can help you if you don't take action. So if you have eye fatigue and you haven't seen an optometrist for over one year, it's a good idea to go see one. They will find out the problem, address it, see if it's dry eye, see if it's eye coordination problems, see if it's your glasses is done incorrectly. Heck, we even measure people's glasses done elsewhere for free for you, um, in my office that is. Um, so most optometrists will offer that service as well. So um, look into that, uh, take care of your eyes and hope you can conquer eye fatigue. If you find this useful, please do share and let your friends know. Um, if there's any uh, comments, you can just link below, uh, share your comments. Thank you. This is Yan Ling Liang. Thank you for sharing.